you know, I drew The Flash for almost a year. I was really into The Incredibles. The movie The Incredibles had come out like about a year before that. So I went with this much bigger head sort of cartoony feel and it just did not work at all. Like in retrospect, it didn't work out. After that, I did Green Arrow. Uh, which was right before, right around the time that it got its own TV show. And that was a much more mainstream pen and ink style. Um, and then a book called The Movement. At the time, it sold basically nothing, um, but it has been getting some interest recently because it, it dealt with a lot of marginalized groups. I was working with Gail Simone, who's a writer who is very much in tune with you know marginalized groups and minority groups. And so it focused on that a lot more than most mainstream comic books did or even do now. I did a book called Brain Boy over at Dark Horse, which is what, that's one of the worst names I've ever heard, Brain Boy. But it's actually a really good, uh, well-written story written by Fred Van Lente, who, uh, so it was Fred and Freddy who were, <laughs> who were working on this really fun, unusual storyline. He's a psionic character and he physically made somebody like shoot themselves in the face. Um, and that's something you could just never draw it at DC. Cause it's like right on camera, so to speak, you actually see the dude shooting himself at dark horse. I drew a, uh, eight page Conan short story. I had been working in uh, pen and ink and ink wash and all this, all these different styles along the way. But, uh, for Conan, I drew all eight pages in ink wash and its sequentials. That became like a small proof of concept for myself and for editors later on if I could maintain that sort of stamina it takes for ink wash and if it didn't get too muddy and that sort of thing. The Conan short story was one of the things that got me hired for Batman Ninja Turtles because it was like, here's my drawings of Batman and the Turtles. Here's my eight page short story that you can see I can do sequentials in this style. And that's what I want to do the Batman Ninja Turtles book in. I had heard that there was going to be some IDW DC crossovers. They were in the works, but I'd heard this for about two years where you would hear rumors of it but it just you'd never see anything announced so i just assumed that the business still fell through because that kind of stuff happens all the time um and then one day i saw a uh, retweet in my twitter of my editor at the time jim chadwick he was tweeting about a uh, crossover of green lantern and star trek and uh, that's idw and dc doing their first crossover together and i thought oh, well, if they're doing this crossover, they're probably doing others. They probably worked out the paperwork or the contracts and stuff. And so I emailed Jim Chadwick and said, hey, if you happen to be wanting to do a Batman Ninja Turtles thing, I'd love to be considered. And here's my here's the Conan short story, and here's my other Ninja Turtle artwork that I'd done some covers and stuff for, for IDW for their Ninja Turtle series. And he said, well, we're actually talking about that right now. They were joking in the DC offices that I must have been psychic because that day they were talking about the art selection for Batman Ninja Turtles. In my whole life, I've never had that good of timing to like actually email on the day of or something. Um, and so I got really, really fortunate that because it, it, it's like a total trajectory change uh, for how my career was going, which I still liked. I still enjoyed the things I was drawing, but suddenly I was drawing these much more popular intellectual properties, stuff that was had been important and fun for me and, and everybody of my, my generation. Batman Ninja Turtles led to He-Man Thundercats and led to more Batman Ninja Turtles. And then Injustice versus Masters of the Universe, I just recently did a series of covers for there's a crossover of Transformers and the Terminator. Um, so I actually haven't read the script or anything, but it's just like whenever IDW approached me, I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. You know, um, so I don't, you know, I would love to draw crossover stuff the, the rest of my life. <laughs> if you did Power Rangers uh, Justice League, I, I, I would I would freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would Power love Rangers to do anything. that. Yeah. Power Rangers plus anything, I'm happy. Yes. Yeah, did you see? I, so I had no involvement in what I'm about to say, but uh, there there was a Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover that just came out. I heard about I, it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really well drawn. I haven't read it, but it's really well drawn. It's a very totally different style than what I draw in, but I mean, it's still awesome.